We greet your coming, God, with wonder. You come to be with us, yet you remain far greater than we can imagine. You are near, yet your wisdom sets you apart from us. You appear among us, yet we cannot describe your glory. We greet your coming, God, with repentance. We are satisfied with ourselves, but your presence exposes our sin and failure. We are self-confident, but you challenge confidence in ourselves. We are proud of our understanding, but you show us that we do not know everything. We greet your coming God with joy. We had no true idea of what you're like, but you have shown us yourself in Jesus Christ. We felt our human life could be of no importance to you, but you have shown its value by appearing among us as a man. We are aware of the gulf between us and you, but you have bridged it with love. God, we greet your coming in Jesus Christ our Lord. Psalm 104 Bless the Lord, O my soul. O Lord my God, thou art very great. Thou art clothed with honour and majesty. Who coverest thyself with light as with a garment. Who stretchest out the heavens like a curtain. Who layest the beams of his chambers in the waters. Who maketh the clouds his chariot. Who walketh upon the wings of the world. Who maketh his angels spirits his ministers of flaming fire, who laid the foundations of the earth, that it should not be removed forever. Thou coverest it with the deep as with a garment, the waters stood above the mountains. He sendeth the springs into the valleys, which run among the hills. He watereth the hills from his chambers, the earth is satisfied with the fruit of thy works. He causeth the gra grass to grow, f grow for the cattle, and herb for the service of man, that he may bring forth food out of the earth. He appointed the moon for seasons, 
The sun knoweth his going down. O Lord, how manifold are thy works! In wisdom hast thou made them all. The earth is full of thy riches. The glory of the Lord shall endure for ever. The Lord shall rejoice in his works. I will sing unto the Lord as long as I live. I will sing praise to my God while I have my being. Thanks be to God. The prophets promised the Saviour. Behold the days come, to save the Lord, that I will raise unto David a righteous branch. And the king shall reign and prosper, and shall execute judgment and justice in the earth. In his days Judah shall be saved, and Israel shall dwell safely. And this is his name, where be he shall be called the Lord our righteousness. But thou, Bethlehem Ephrathah, though thou be little among the thousands of Judah, Yet out of thee shall he come forth unto me, that is to be the ruler in Israel, whose goings forth have been from of old, from everlasting. Therefore he will give them up, until the time that she with travaileth hath brought forth. Then the remnant of his brethren shall return unto the children of Israel. And he shall stand and feed in the strength of the Lord, in the majesty of the name of the Lord his God. And they shall abide, for now shall he be great unto the ends of the earth. The people that walked in darkness have seen a great light. They that dwell in the land of the shadow of death, upon them hath the light shined. Thou hast multiplied the nation, and not increased the joy. They joy before thee according to the joy in harvest, and as men rejoice when they divide the spoil. For thou hast broken the yoke of his burden, and the staff of his shoulder, the rod of his oppression, as in day of Median. For every battle of the warrior is with confused noise, and garments rolled in blood, but this shall be burnt with burning and fuel of fire. 
For unto as a child was born, unto us a son is given. And the government shall be upon his shoulder, and his name shall be called Wonderful, Counselor, the Mighty God, the Everlasting Father, the Prince of Peace. Of the increase of his government and peace, there shall be no end upon the throne of David, and upon his kingdom to order it, and to establish it with judgment and with justice from henceforth, even for ever. The zeal of the God of hosts will perform this. Thanks be to God. Angel Gabriel announces Christ's birth. St. Luke chapter 1 verses 26 to 38. And in the sixth month the angel Gabriel was sent from God unto a city of Galilee named Nazareth, to a virgin espoused to a man whose name was Joseph of the house of David, and the virgin's name was Mary. And the angel came in unto her and said, Hail, thou that art highly favoured, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. And when she saw him, she was troubled at his saying, and cast in her mind what manner of salutation this should be. And the angel said unto her, Fear not, Mary, for thou hast found favour with God. And, behold, thou shalt conceive in thy womb, and bring forth a son, and shalt call his name Jesus. He shall be great, and shall be called the Son of the Highest. And the Lord God shall give unto him the throne of his father David, and he shall reign over the house of Jacob forever, and of his kingdom there shall be no end. Then said Mary unto the angel, How shall this be, seeing I know not a man? And the angel answered and said unto her, The Holy Ghost shall come upon thee, and the power of the highest shall overshadow thee. Therefore also that holy thing which shall be born of thee shall be called the Son of God. And, behold, thy cousin Elizabeth, she hath also conceived a son in her old age, and this is the sixth month with her, who was called barren. 
for with God nothing shall be impossible. And Mary said, Behold the handmaid of the Lord, be it unto me according to thy word. And the angel departed from her. Thanks be to God. Now, as the birth of Jesus was on this wise, when, as the mother Mary was espoused to Joseph before they came together, she was found with child of the Holy Ghost. Then Joseph, her husband, being a just man and not willing to make her a public example, was minded to put her away privily. But while he thought unto these things, behold, the angel of the Lord appeared unto him in a dream, saying, Joseph, thou son of David, fear not to take unto thee Mary thy wife, for that which is conceived of her is of the Holy Ghost. And she shall bring forth a son, and thou shalt call his name Jesus, for he shall save his people from all their sins. Now all this was done, that it must be fulfilled, which was spoken of the Lord by the prophet, saying, Behold, a virgin shall be with child, and shall bring forth a son, and they shall call his name Emmanuel, which being interpreted is God with us. Then Joseph, being raised from sleep, did as the angel of the Lord had bidden him, and took unto him his wife, and knew her not till she had brought forth her firstborn son, and he called his name Jesus. Thanks be to God.
Luke 2, verses 1 to 20. And it came to pass in those days that there went out a decree from Caesar Augustus that all the world should be taxed. And this taxing was first made when Cyrenius was governor of Syria. And all went to be taxed, every one into his own city. And Joseph also went up from Galilee, out of the city of Nazareth, into Judea, unto the city of David, which is called Bethlehem, because he was of the house and lineage of David, to be taxed with Mary as his spouse's wife, being great with child. And so it was, that while they were there, the days were accomplished that she should be delivered. And she brought forth her firstborn son, and wrapped him in swaddling clothes, and laid him in a manger, because there was no room for them in the inn. And there were in the same country shepherds abiding in the field, keeping watch over their flock by night. And lo, the angel of the Lord came upon them, and the glory of the Lord shone round about them, and they were sore afraid. And the angel said unto them, Fear not, for behold, I bring you good tidings of great joy, which shall be to all people. For unto you is born this day in the city of David a Saviour, which is Christ the Lord. And this shall be a sign unto you. Ye shall find the babe wrapped in swaddling clothes, lying in a manger. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of the heavenly host praising God, and saying, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace, good will toward men. And it came to pass, as the angels were gone away from them into heaven, the shepherds said one to another, Let us now go even unto Bethlehem, and see this thing which is come to pass, which the Lord hath made known unto us. And they came with haste, and found Mary and Joseph and the babe lying in a manger. And when they had seen it, they made known abroad the saying which was told them concerning this child. And all they that heard it wondered at those things which were told them by the shepherds. But Mary kept all these things and pondered them in her heart. And the shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all the things that they had heard and seen, as it was told unto them. Thanks be to God.
Matthew 2, verses 1 to 12. Now when Jesus was born in Bethlehem of Judea, in days of Herod the king, behold, there came wise men from the east to, to Jerusalem, saying, Where is he that is born king of the Jews? For we have seen a star in the east, and are come to worship him. When Herod the king had heard these things, he was troubled, and all Jerusalem with him. And when he had gathered all the chief priests and scribes together, he demanded of them where Christ should be born. And they said unto him, In Bethlehem of Judea, for thus it is written by the prophet, And though Bethlehem, in the land of Judah, art not least among the princes of Judah, for out of thee shall come a governor that shall rule my people, Israel. Then Herod, when he had privily called the wise men, inquired of them diligently what time the star appeared. And he sent them to Bethlehem, and said, Go and search diligently for the young child. And when ye have found him, bring me word again, that I may come and worship him also. When they had heard the king, they departed. And lo, the star which they saw in the east went before them till it came and stood over where the young child was. When they saw the star, they rejoiced with exceeding great joy. And when they were come into the house, they saw the young child with Mary, his mother, and fell down and worshipped him. And when they had opened their treasures, they presented unto him gifts, gold, frankincense, and myrrh. And being warned of God in a dream that they should not return to Herod, they departed into their own country another way. Thanks be to God. Epiphany is over. The kings have set off home another way, but their arrival has triggered an appalling chain of events. Herod, then as now, thinks nothing of killing the innocent for political ends. The Christ child is a refugee in the world he came to save. Here's a sonnet called Refugee by Malcolm Geit. We think of him as safe beneath the steeple or cosy in a crib beside the font. 
but he is with a million displaced people on the long road of weariness and want. For even as we sing our final carol, his family is up and on that road, fleeing the wrath of someone else's quarrel, glancing behind and shouldering their load. Whilst Herod rages still from his dark tower, Christ clings to Mary, fingers tightly curled. The lambs are slaughtered by the men of power and death squads spread their curse across the world. But every Herod dies and comes alone to stand before the Lamb upon the throne. St. John unfolds the mystery of incarnation. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. The same was in the beginning with God. All things were made by him, and without him was not anything made that was made. In him was life, and the life was the light of men. And the light shineth in darkness, and the darkness comprehended it not. There was a man sent from God, whose name was John. The same came for a witness, to bear witness of the light, that all men through him might believe. He was not that light, but was sent to bear witness of that light. That was the true light, which lighteth every man that cometh into the world. He was in the world, and the world was made by him, and the world knew him not. He came unto his own, and his own received him not. But as many as received him, to them gave he power to become the sons of God, even to them that believe on his name, which were born not of blood, nor of the will of the flesh, nor of the will of man, but of God. And the word was made flesh and dwelt amongst us. And we beheld his glory, the glory as of the only begotten of the Father, full of grace and truth.
Let us pray. Lord, when you came to the world, you brought us hope. When you came to our darkness, you brought us light. When you came to our strife, you brought us peace. Now, as Christmas approaches, we again think of your coming. Help us to turn the hope, the light and the peace which you brought us into reality in today's world. Amen. <laughs>